Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Here we are again. Friday. I know. It comes fast, doesn't it? Do you guys see what's behind me right there? Yes. I showed pictures of it yesterday, and I'm so excited to be able to see it behind me. That is a piece of art from my daughter. She is in college. She's an art major, and she painted that for me. We were going to have her do a mural. She and I had talked about doing a mural. And then I was like, you know, why don't we just get a big canvas and do it on the canvas? And she did, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I love seeing it. The only thing is, is that when I stand in the middle, you can't see it. <laughs> so I need to stand like to the side so you guys can see it. It's so beautiful. Anyway, if you want to look at it closer, just scroll down a little bit on my Facebook group. You'll see it. I post it on Instagram too. I'm super proud of her. She's super talented and she is doing what she loves. She was, um, we were just talking about her going back to school next week. And, uh, I was saying, you know, as I got towards the end of college, I was, you know, burnt out, ready for it to be done. And she doesn't feel like that at all. She loves it and she loves her classes. So she is living her best life. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's so good to see you. This week we are doing three projects with the Just My Type stamp set. Super popular stamp set. I've seen floods of projects online using this set and it's it's really cute and i i um i have five projects total i feel like i didn't even scratch the surface i didn't even use all the stamps there are so many stamps does it say 17 stamps quite a bit so we'll get to that in a minute um let me pull you guys up on facebook i had you up but now of course it disappeared there we go all right so let's talk about some things going on and I'm going to show you this and it's going to be backwards. I know it says ready, set, redeem. You guys, did you get, um, bonus days, coupons in July? Stampin' Up should have emailed you an email in July with your bonus days coupon code or codes on it. Um, if you spent over $50 and they are just, you know, long numerical codes that you copy and paste over into the coupon section of the shopping cart. I mean, you guys have probably done this before. Um, if for some reason you lost your email, I think they can resend it to you. Um, right now the, our call center is overwhelmed. So if you call and it's like a two hour wait, they give you an option to give your callback number and they will call you back. Um, they're very good about that. So if you've lost yours or you didn't get it with your order, um, you can reach out to them and I think they can resend it. If I remember correctly, I believe we did this a few years ago when we had, um, bonus days coupons, but anyway, they are stackable, which means if you have five coupons, you can use them all at the same time, which a lot of stores don't do. You know, when you go shopping, they're like, sorry, one coupon only, but these are stackable. So you can use them all on one order, which is really great. Um, one thing you might want to consider using them. Where am I going to put my stuff? My counter is completely full. One thing you might want to consider them using them on is our kit sale. Cute, super cute kits. I'm going to switch you guys around and let's look at um, where the kits are online. And we have a new kit, actually a Christmas kit that, uh-oh, hold on, hold on, hold. Oh, why are you doing this to me, Facebook? Come on. Let's try one more time. There we go. Um, we have a new kit that's like a Christmas kit. And um, I wanna show you guys where to find it. But it it's brand new and it's on sale too. So hello, that's awesome, right? All right, so hopefully the glare's not too bad. Um, when you go to the Stampin' Up! store, right? When you go to the store and you click the three little lines, there's a little thing right here that says kits. And when you click on it and you scroll down, there are all of our kits. Here's the new one. It's called Festive Tags. How cute is this? I haven't ordered it yet, um, but it's very cute. And it is only $11.70. So I believe this was one of those that doesn't have stamps. It's all like you just use the stickers to put it together. So these are always fun um, if you want to take crafting on the road or if you have kids um, or people who not who say they're not crafty, these are always really good for them. Um, but there's also 
a ton of other kits too. Um, this beach one has been super popular. It's sold out again, um, but it'll come back. Um, anyway, there's a bunch in here. So go through. I love this one, the little wreath. Um, that's $11.70 also. Oh, and I love this one. Bright colors, you know, my favorite. There's some more Christmas ones. Um, the ones with stamps included, like this one, are a little more expensive, this $17. Um, and if you flip through the photos, it'll show you what's included. So there's a stamp set. And uh, they're really fun. I um, enjoy our kits, they're really great. So, so anyways, that is that. I just want to make sure you guys knew about it. Let's see if I am way behind on my, I have to pull this up and it seems, okay, good. There we go. Um, so I can see your comments. Let's see if I can make some room. Um, okay. So that is that kit sale is all month and you can use your, your bonus days coupons on them as well. So, you know, make the most of it. If you had two Coupons, you could get that kit for like $1.70. <laughs> I mean, hello, that's really good. Okay, a few reminders. My new color club, this is for those of you that love the new colors, the core colors, not in colors, this is core colors. Um, this is a five month club. Every month I'm gonna send you um, a kit that includes product, um, samples, card bases, and make and take kit um, featuring two of the new colors. Um, tomorrow is the last day to sign up, okay? Tomorrow is the last day. So the first month, obviously we're doing bubble bath and lemon lolly. If you are interested in this club and you want the details, go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com and check it out. Tomorrow, Saturday is the very last day to subscribe. Um, Let's see, what was I gonna say about that? Um, I'll update the uh, video with, with the links when I'm done, if you wanna wait and uh, get the direct link, okay? You're also gonna get color coach cards and um, sketches too. All right, so that's Color Club, that starts this month. They'll ship, the first ones will ship out at the end of August. We have a new, all-star tutorial bundle, bright and beautiful. It's like the birthday suite, you know, the balloons. And I love these colors. Um, this is a PDF that has 12 video tutorials. Um, each one is done by a different Stampin' Up! demonstrator. They are cards and 3D projects. The PDF includes a link for the video and it also will include all the measurements in both Imperial and metric and a complete supply list. Um, so each month we choose a different suite. So this month we did the Bright and Beautiful suite and mine are these little milk crate, milk crate, milk carton, um, party favors. Um, of course you could give them as treats as well. Um, they're really fun. These balloons are really fun to do. So um, if you're interested in that, you will get it free if you spend $50 with me online this month. Um, and I mail them out about once or once a week or every 10 days or so to everyone who is ordered. Um, but it's also available in my PDF store for $15. Um, if you are a subscriber, last month the subscription was open. If you're a subscriber, I emailed, I emailed it to you on the 1st. If you didn't get it, please reach out to me and let me know, and we'll look to see what's going on. Um, the first month that I email them all out, sometimes they go to spam, you know, email email inboxes sometimes think that I am trying to spam you, which I am not. <laughs> But they, they throw me into spam jail. So, you know, check your spam folder. I find things in my spam folder that I'm like, what in the world? Why is this here? I missed it. It was important. Um, club, club Create. This is my other club that um, is a stamp club, basically. It's once a month, $39 a month. That price is getting ready to go up to $45 a month. Um, for this starting next month for new subscribers. So if you want in at $39, make sure you do it before Monday. Um, each month I send you five projects and about $20 in product, a video and a PDF. Um, and if you stay around for six months, you get a $25 product credit um, of anything you want that I'll put in your kit for you, like a little, like a little gift certificate basically. Okay, and this month's um, Club Create features the Let's Go Shopping sweet. Um, 
the Let's Go Shopping bundle is on unorderable right now, but it's coming back next week, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, for those of you who um, are in Club Create um, and have been asking what we're going to do for September, right? Yeah, September. Well, I have, I've decided. Um, this is a new mini catalog and Stampin' Up! will be mailing them to you all month. You will get them, I don't know, it, middle of the month, third week of the month, they're coming. But this is the holiday catalog and it is full of great things. I think you're really gonna love it. So I had to get, I didn't even see the catalog until, I don't know, a couple days ago and then we put in our pre-order and then I got it yesterday and I immediately ripped open my products and designed for September. So for those of you who have been waiting, I used the Merry and Bright Sweet for September. I decided to do Christmas because I wanted to avoid any um, unorderable situations or, um, you know, if we can get ahead of Christmas, get a jump start on it, I think that would be good. But anyway, September, it will be um, this bright and beautiful. There will, I haven't typed up the, the PDF yet. I've only done the projects. The PDF probably won't be available until the end of next week. Um, if you are wanting to subscribe, be a new subscriber for this, for September, you have to wait until the 8th. Don't sign up until uh, August 8th. Um, I, the details of that are on my blog, pinkbuckroo.com. There is a tab at the top that says Club Create, and you will see um, what you are subscribing to if you subscribe this month. Um, so yay. Yes, I'm glad you guys like it. I mean, if you know me, you know that paper was like screaming my name. I had to, had to use that paper for sure. All right, let's see if I can get this a little more straight here. I don't like it crooked with these lines. Is that a little bit better? Yeah, okay. All right, last but not least, I teased a new class that is coming. My friend, um, my friends, Rhonda and Ange, we've teamed up to do a Barbie-inspired class, you guys. I mean, everything is Barbie right now. Have you guys seen the movie? I haven't seen the movie. My girls and I are gonna go next week to see it. Um, and so Rhonda came up with a really fun idea for us to do a class that was barbie inspired so we found barbies online and used them as inspiration for each of the projects in this class so in the pdf when it's available when it's ready you'll see the picture of the barbie along with the card so you can see where we got our inspiration um, this class i haven't listed it yet it will probably open up in the next few days um, it's a mega class it has eight projects and it has a ton of product in it um, it uses the Everyday Thanks, the Stamp Set, and the Wonderful Thoughts bundle. So um, be on the lookout. I'll send an email once it's open. And um, I love, love, love this class. So get ready. If you like this Everyday Thanks Stamp Set, for sure you're going to like it. But um, full details on that will be coming soon, in the next couple days, okay? Okay, let's see. I think I have cleared most of... The stuff. How about door prize from last week? Pam Simmons. I chose Pam randomly as uh, our winner this week. Thank you, Pam, for sharing. Um, the uh, yeah, Lynn. Seriously, Barbie. Uh huh. Yeah, I love Barbie, and I think it's super cute. Those bright colors, and you know, there is a Barbie for every job out there. There's a policeman Barbie. There's a teacher Barbie. There's a astronaut Barbie. There's a, I mean, my daughter and I looked online. There are so many different Barbies. It's so fun. So we use those as inspiration and it's super cute. Um, so anyway, yes, Pam, here you go. Sweet Citrus, I would love to send this to you. I don't know if I have your mailing address, Pam. I might, um, but I would love to hear from you just to make sure I have it and I have the right one. Thanks for sharing. And um, I do appreciate you sharing my video on Facebook. This week I've got two prizes and I choose from Facebook and YouTube. I go back and forth. So if you're watching on YouTube, um, the recording, you can share it there too. And just write in the comments that you've shared. I've got two So Very Merry stamp sets that I'll give away um, in next week, next Friday, to people who share the video. All right, So Very Merry. That's a, that's a set that sold out 
like in a day. And then they weren't gonna bring it back and we loved it so much that they brought it back. So I got two of them for you. All right, next, I think that's it. I think I, think I reached the bottom of the pile. Okay, so Facebook Friday, if you've never joined me before, welcome. I know a lot of you have been here for a long time. I think I've been doing Facebook Fridays for about six years. Um, I am in a new studio, still working out the kinks. I think that the lighting, I've got two new lights. My husband, we spent some time in here this weekend and um, working on the lighting situation. I think it looks better. Hopefully, you guys, hopefully. Um, you know, lighting, lighting is a big deal to me and trying to get the lighting just right has been stressful because I want it to be just right. All right, so Facebook Fridays, every Friday I pick a product, usually a bundle, sometimes just a stamp set like this week, and then we do three projects with it. Um, this week, like I said, it's just my type. Um, there is a free PDF that goes along with this. Um, it has the measurements, measurements and supply list for all three projects. It is over at pinkbuggeroo.com. Has anybody checked to make sure it went up? Um, there are also individual recordings of each of these projects. If you come back and want to watch something, um, I pre-record them on YouTube and, um, you know, they're edited and closer and less chit chat. So if you want those, they're there as well. Um, and then everything that I just talked to you about, all these, all the things <laughs> are right here. Now the, the deal with Facebook Friday is that if you put in an order, hold on, I'm trying to find my sample. Where is the sample? I've lost it. Here it is. Um, if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight and you use that host code, I'll send you today's projects as a make and take kit. It looks like this. Um, it'll have everything you need. The only thing I don't do is the stamping for you. You'll need the stamps and ink and adhesive, but everything else will be included for you. And um, I mail these out usually on Wednesdays. Now, you guys, those of you that put orders in during uh, my vacation, most of them have shipped. Um, I ran into a problem with, well, I ran into a problem, but I'm working on it. A few of you just know, I'm, I haven't forgotten anybody. I'm going to, I'm going to send everybody your goodie package, but it might be a little bit longer than I had originally planned. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. I think we're ready to start this, um, rubber mat thing that I got. It's like a ca cabinet cover. Um, I love it. It's good, except that I spilled embossing powder on it <laughs> and it's all like sticking to it. I guess maybe I need to go rinse it in the sink, get it all off, but it feels yucky now. Um, it's to protect my work surface. Somebody sent me this link. I can't remember who a while back. And um, when I was saying I was worried about my white countertops, but it is great. I've been using it a lot. Okay, let's get started. Now, our first stamp set I decided to make as a baby card. So I actually, this set has a lot of great sentiments in it, but because I was making a baby card, I pulled in best family ever, okay? So let me show you the card. Why am I struggling to get everything on this counter like it needs to be? All right, there we go. And um, my colors this week are pink. I just can't get away from the pink. Maybe it's the Barbie on the brain. I don't know. But this is um, Berry Burst and Bubble Bath. And, of course, black. All right, so let's do our stamping first. Um, you know, like some of the other stamp sets we've used, this one does not have dyes. But we have... Paper snips and paper snips are awesome and they um, are really good for fussy cutting. So also this stamp set is, it's not drawn like perfectly, you know, it kind of has um, rough edges around it. So I think when images are like that, it makes fussy cutting even like more relaxed. Like you don't have to worry about it being too perfect. And this one is just like that. Now I have, I am missing my black. Let me grab it from over here. I have brought in a foam mat because this is photopolymer. And if you have stamped with photopolymer before, you know that when it's a big solid photopolymer stamp, because there's no foam, 
behind it, like our red rubber stamps, there's no like give. So if your countertop is kind of hard or, you know, it just, I haven't found any rhyme or reason with the countertop. Some, I don't have the problem and some I do. This new studio that I'm in, I seem to have the problem where the middle won't stamp on this countertop. In my other studio, I didn't have that problem except on the table where I filmed. So who knows? But all you need to do is put a foam mat below you, under your stamping paper, the paper that you're stamping, and it'll work. So this is either a piercing mat or you can use a piece of fun foam from the craft store. You know, they're like, I don't know, 50 cents. They're really cheap. All right, so we're gonna do this in Memento, this little vintage typewriter. And then it has two different options for you. Um, on, let's see, where's my stamp set? You have this right here, which is just like a regular paper. And then you have this one that has the folded over paper, which is the one that I really like. So we're gonna use the folded over paper like that. And then we'll stamp the heart, which is missing, of course. Is it on another tray? That's weird because I didn't use it. Oh, it's over here, here it is. I just hadn't brought it over. I laid all the stamps that I thought I was using out here, but apparently I didn't use all of them. All right, bubble bath right in the middle. And I have a sink now in my studio. I have a bathroom connected. So I have been washing my blocks over there. I don't have to carry them to the kitchen, which is a nice little, little thing to have. All right, so baby and memento on top of that pink heart. And then we'll take the flower and we're gonna stamp it three times in berry burst. Now the flower is a little more fussy, if you will, right? It's a little more fussy um, when you cut it out. So if you really hate fussy cutting, then just get your flower punch. You know, we've all got a small flower punch or a small flower die and just cut out a berry burst flower and use that. All right, now this is fun. The little type letters, the little hello, it's all on one long stamp. So you don't have to worry about, you know, putting it on individual. See how it's all connected, which is really helpful. Um, one thing about this, I'm gonna, and I meant to add a link, but I'm sure you guys can find it. We don't carry this three quarter inch punch anymore, but you can find them pretty much anywhere. It's a pretty standard um, punch. You can find them on Amazon. I think they're relatively inexpensive, but the three quarter inch punch is perfect for these letters. All right. Okay, now let's see, do I even have my paper snips? I do. One thing that I recommend that you do is cut off all the excess cardstock. How come I'm not seeing any comments? There we go, all right. Flickering, you guys are flickering. See, I moved this and I could, can't see it. I learned to type in high school too, Carol, for some reason. I don't remember things like details very well. Um, like I'm just not a rememberer. And, but I remember my typing class and I remember that this football player sat next to me and you know he was terrible at typing and he didn't wanna type. I don't know why I remember that. I remember what the classroom was like. That one really stands out to me. Now the kids, they learn to type when they're like three, <laughs> right? On devices. They, um, in the school district where I used to teach, one of the rotation classes was computer. Um, they would go to music, art, PE, and computer. And now they're not even doing computer anymore, I guess, because the kids don't really even need it. They come in as technology natives. And that's, you know, crazy, but I get it. I get it. Um, here at our local elementary school in our, well, it's not in my neighborhood anymore, but the one that my kids went to, they are doing, instead of a computer rotation, they're doing a STEM rotation. One of my friends is a STEM teacher there and she's loving it. Jill, I don't know if Jill's watching. Sometimes she watches. She's a great teacher. We were baby teachers together many, many years ago. <laughs> and then she was my daughter's kindergarten teacher. 
she um but she teaches the stem class which i think is really fun i think that's a good alternative to computers you know it's been i'm almost it's almost been 10 years since i've been out of the classroom i can't believe it um but you know when i left we were just starting to have classroom sets of laptops for the classroom and so i guess that's probably where the schools have gone now just computer immersion in the classroom. I don't know. If I ever go back to teaching, I'm gonna be so lost because it's, it'll, it'll, I mean, technology changes so fast. It's hard to keep up with that. I hope, I hope to never go back. <laughs> but you just never know what could happen in life. You never know. Okay, fussy cut those with your paper snips and we're gonna use if I can find my many dimensionals. Do you guys find that whenever you need a regular dimensional, all you can find is a many? And whenever you need a many dimensional, all you can find are regular dimensionals. I guess that's just how it goes, huh? What do they call that? Um, oh, you know, it's ironic. can't think it's um murphy's law murphy's law that's what i'm trying to think of all right so put these little guys on with many dimensionals <sighs> my nails you guys i got a my nails done by a guy who doesn't normally do my nails and they're way too long and i feel like edward scissorhand <laughs> i can't function i actually filed a couple of them down they're just too long so you're gonna laugh at me as i try to fumble through some of these things um, these are pastel sequins, adhesive back sequins, and they go with bubble bath perfectly. Okay, so now we've got that. We've got our little hello. We're going to put our card together. Let me bring it over here. And we've got a berry burst card base, and we've got a piece of basic white. We're gonna put that inside. This is Zany Zoo designer series paper. And we will put this down flat with stamp and seal like that, but we're not done with it. We're gonna do something else to it first. And let me grab my machine. We are going to emboss it with the Time Worn Type embossing folder. I find that I'm using, I go for this embossing folder over and over and over again. I love it. Time Worn Type. And then we just want to emboss that part right there. So just, you know, put it like that. We're going to cover that up where they overlap. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to want to get your gray plate, plate number four, put on top of there, right? Yeah, plate number four. And then you've got that nice little soft texture. Okay, so then we've got bubble bath ribbon. This is the um, ribbon trio pack, I believe is what it's called, and I have been using the heck out of it. Bubble bath, lemon lolly, and azure afternoon. Oh, yeah, Carrie, you know, she says her daughter just started middle school and they all were issued a computer. My kids have been issued a computer, whether they want one or not, since the pandemic. Um, my kids, they have their own computer. They'd rather use theirs, but the school makes them take one. I guess maybe there's some things like tests and stuff they can only do on the school's computer. I know, I remember when I was teaching, there were schools that were doing that, but it was very, like, fancy. Like my mom taught at a private school and they did it at her school. And I remember thinking, ooh, wow, that's very fancy. Um, now it's probably standard. I remember iPads. I was really using iPads in the classroom the last few years. And now, I don't know, I wonder if they're still using iPads in the classroom. Probably, especially for the little ones, a little bit easier. Okay, so now, Again, here we go, dimensionals. Okay, 
and we're gonna put that right there. Now, this card is really easy. The, the next part is probably the hardest part, and it's not really that hard. It's gonna be hard, tricky, to line these letters up straight. But if you have grid paper and a ruler, it's, it's fine. All right, so just use your grid paper, put your card there, and then grab a ruler, and just put that ruler right across where you want those letters to go, and then they will all be lined up. Now, I usually have to adjust them, and dimensionals, I feel like, are kind of a temporary adhesive at first, but then later on, Boy, you cannot get them off. It's weird. Like I can move it around, I'll stick it down, and I, I start on the two outsides like this, H, E, no, H and O on the outside, and then we've got our E, and then L, and then L, and look, so now I need to space them out a little bit more. So it's barely stuck down, that dimensional. Does it look straight, straightish? I think so, let me look at it. There we go, yeah, and then you can just like, you know, push it down, and I guarantee you tomorrow if I try to take them off, they would not come off. Okay, that's it, super easy. And you know, I didn't stamp, oh yes I did. I didn't stamp anything on the inside, and we need to. So just grab that cute little flower, and just, I don't always stamp the inside of my card, and I don't always, put paper, white paper on the inside of my card, but it always feels a little fancy when I do, when I remember to do it. Okay, there you go, you guys. Easy baby card. We've done several baby cards the last few weeks. I also have it in another color. This is Azure Afternoon. Same, everything else is the same except for Azure Afternoon on the, on the um, card base. So you decide, I wanted to stick to, to the color scheme that I was using for the other cards somewhat so I kind of switched the colors around a little bit but it looks good and you could change it to just blues too if you were having to you know if they were having a boy all right good thanks guys I appreciate it I'm glad you like it all right so let me clean up my mess and we'll get to the next card the next card is a fun fold and I've really been trying to do more fun folds, and I always seem to do the same kinds of fun folds. I always go and I look and I try to get ideas, and then I end up doing the same kind of fun folds. The easy kind. <laughs> That's the kind I like, the easy kind. So this is our card, and it props open like that. So this is an easel card. Can you guys see this side? Props open like that. And the colors for this are Pretty Peacock, Melon Mambo, and Knight of Navy. In my other video that I made for this, I actually used black, and afterwards I realized that it should be navy. So we're gonna do it the right way. And it opens up, it lays flat like that, and then it opens up like that, okay? And this paper, I think goes so well with it, is from the Something Eclectic Designer Series paper, the big stack of paper. All right, now we are gonna need our chamois for this. You definitely need your chamois. And uh, you're gonna need a pretty big piece of basic white, okay? And we're gonna stamp our typewriter three times. Let me get my ink pads. And I think I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, I need my I need my pad here like this. All right, so Melon Mambo, which I haven't used in a while because remember Polished Pink that just left us? That was my go-to pink. Look at that, I don't know why that did that. Let's, let's do it again. Let's flip it over and do it again. Um, polished Pink kind of took the place of Melon Mambo in my favorite pinks, but now that it's gone, I'm back to Melon Mambo and I love it, I forgot how much I love Melon Mambo. It did it again in that same spot. I wonder what's going on with the stamp there. Let's see. Let's clean it really good. That one's gonna just have to do because I'm not gonna have enough paper. 
All right, let's try Pretty Peacock and see. Pretty Peacock. I feel like it's gonna stamp better, much better. It's so weird. And then last, we'll do Knight of Navy. And we'll do that right there, like that. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use the, the um, paper that has a little folded over ear, if you will. I'm gonna do that. I'm thinking, I don't like that. Let's see, I'm just gonna find some new paper. Do I have paper sitting right here? I do, let's try it. One more time, let's give it one more try. Because it's stamped fine with the other inks. Look, it's just not inking up there with the Melon Mambo. That's so strange. All right, I think I got it now. Let's try it. There we go. Okay, now we got it. I'm gonna do the little folded over paper in the, um, hello, what is this color? Melon Mambo. <laughs> I was just talking about it. And then we'll do the other two in the paper that's not folded over. Knight of Navy, Pretty Peacock. Okay, so now you need some post-it notes. And do I have post-it notes? Oh, good, I do. All right, I'm gonna take my post-it note and just cover up the bottom of that typewriter. Because the paper, the thank you, doesn't fit all the way on the, the paper twice. And so we want it to look like it's down in the typewriter. Um, so we will start with Pretty Peacock. And I'm gonna stamp right at the top. And then right below it. All right, clean it off. I meant to get a new block. This block has dried Wink and Stella on it. And <laughs> I can hardly see through it. There we go. So then when you peel this off, see how it looks like it's coming out of the paper or out of the typewriter like that. All right, and then let's do this one. Now this one you're gonna need to, to mask off. Let's use this one, I don't wanna get that ink. We're gonna mask off that, but you also need to mask off the folded over part. All right. Thank you, and thank you. And there you have it. All right, now, more fussy cutting. More fussy cutting, I know. Let me close these. Now, you guys, while I'm fussy cutting, um, the chamois, Julie, that's a great question. So the chamois is just this awesome little sponge and you just get it wet with water. And I keep it in a um, old stamp case. I mean, they look disgusting. I put two like this, so I have more of a cleaning space. Um, but it um, just cleans your stamps real well. And I clean it, um, I stamp a lot. So I clean it about once a week. Um, maybe not quite that often. Uh, usually when it dries out, I will go and and uh, wash it. You can wash them in the wash machine. You can throw them in the wash machine, which I've done. Um, I always expect it to come out all pristine <laughs> from the wash machine, and it does it. It comes out looking exactly like that. Um, but like right now, if I were to run my finger across it, I would have ink on my fingers. Like you can see, a little bit inky. But when you wash it, obviously the stain stays there, but the ink is gone, and it's nice and clean. Um, but most of the time, I just take it to the sink and just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze until the water runs clean. It's very easy. Do you guys use a chamois? We used to have something called Stampin' Scrub, and I liked it, but I definitely like this a lot better. It doesn't require anything special, just water. All right, so we've got Pretty Peacock, Night of Navy. Now, I haven't talked to you guys since we got back from our vacation. And it was the vacation that wasn't perfect. Let's say that. 
the first or Saturday morning flight was at 6 a.m. And that night before I got a text from Delta at like 11.30 p.m. that said our flight had been canceled, but we had been rebooked on the 5 a.m. flight. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm glad I was awake to see that come through. So we got up, got the kids up, got to the airport, you know, super early. And I see that the 5 a.m. flight has been canceled as well. So I'm up there at the counter and she says, well, actually you've been booked on tomorrow's 5 a.m. flight. <laughs> okay, who thinks to look at the date, right? And I thought it was weird that they had booked us earlier, but it said weather, there was supposed to be weather in Atlanta. So then we had to go home and sit at home. We lost a whole day of vacation. The next day we get there back at 5 a.m. and we get on that flight and we get to Atlanta and then our flight in Atlanta is delayed four and a half hours. So we lost, we ended up losing basically two whole days of our vacation, of our only five day vacation. So it was kind of a bummer. It was kind of a bummer. Then the, the guy that we hired, we always, well, we've been to Key West twice, and uh, this guy, Captain Rio, we love to go out with him on his boat. He is a captain for hire, basically. He'll take you fishing. He'll take you snorkeling. He'll take you to the sandbars. He'll do whatever you want, and we were supposed to be with him that first day, so we missed out on that, and then the second day, his boat broke down. <laughs> it was like, okay, we need to just go home. It was very upsetting, but he got it fixed and we got out for half the day and my girls had fun. My husband got to spear fish, which he's never done before and he liked. So it was fine. And then we went to dry tortugas, which was amazing. It was amazing. And that was really the whole reason we went. Um, have any of you ever been to dry tortugas? It's a national park. It's the, um, one of the least visited national parks because it is only accessible by boat and it's a two and a half hour, oh, well, boat and seaplane. It's a two and a half hour boat ride out there and then two and a half hours back. That's a long day, um, but it was worth it. And we're national park fans, so we were excited to be able to go do it. So if you're ever in Key West, I highly recommend it. You have to get tickets way ahead of time. Um, okay, back to what we're doing. This is a piece of our glorious gingham, pretty peacock, and I am using it as the mat and putting a piece of white on top of it. And then I am gonna put on these cute little typewriters with dimensionals. We snorkeled in dry tortugas, and I'm a chicken. I don't like to go way out, and I don't like to be close to nature <laughs> the bottom of the ocean nature and my youngest she's the same so we stuck together close to the shore but my middle daughter and my husband went to go snorkel at over like there's some pylons that was like an old pier that had fallen down whatever it's supposed to be really good snorkeling well my husband got stung by a jellyfish while he was over there and my daughter actually got it on video she was videoing the snorkeling on her phone in, she has this dry pack for her phone, and it, she sees the jellyfish come up and it bounced between his side and his arm and stung him multiple places. I mean, it was just one of those weeks, you know, where just things just keep happening. But luckily on the way home, and I was like, okay, well, I'm, I guess that means traveling home is not gonna be great, but it actually was. Both flights on time, we were home by noon that next day, which was really nice, so. We love Florida, we love Key West. If you've never been to Key West and you ever have a chance, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a fun place, it is a very fun place. Okay, so I've added those with dimensionals, added some glossy dots. These are called glossy dots. And we're gonna take, this is a half sheet of Pretty Peacock and I've scored it at four and a fourth, actually, two and an eight, and then four and a fourth, okay? And we're gonna fold it, it would be like a regular card, and but we're gonna fold this one in and it'll sit up like this, all right? And so you have to really burnish that line so that it'll, it'll stay where you want it to stay. Um, you have to have something to prop that side up with. So I've got, first we'll put a piece of basic white and then we'll put this cute little something eclectic designer series paper. That print is cute too. Um, I thought these looked like typewriter letters. Put that 
right there like that and then I have cut a stitched heart you guys know from give it a whirl the give it a whirl dies I use them every week um, Judy yes he did heal nicely you know of course um, at first he was like you know like oh my god this really stings but then he was trying to be like tough he was like it's fine it's fine I'm fine because I, I you know they have medical things I mean it's a pretty remote place but the ship had some things and he was like, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. But it really like whelped, you know, there was like like a splattering of big giant whelps, but he is fine. By the time we left, he said it wasn't even hurting anymore. So I don't know if he was just trying to be tough or if that was the truth. Um, this is Lost Lagoon ribbon. I thought it was uh, Pretty Peacock color, but it's actually Lost Lagoon, but it goes really nicely with Pretty Peacock. Now, Elaine, I saw what you said, you went to Boca, with you came home with COVID, oh, and yes, you did. You did tell me about the jellyfish. I know. You know, I have seen jellyfish one time when I was snorkeling. Um, again, I'm a chicken. It scared me half to death, but they didn't sting us. I mean, I just butchered that ribbon. Um, they this one I guess came out of nowhere, and we had seen stingrays. We we had seen a lot of stingrays on the on the bottom and he said when he came out of the water he said it was i got stung by a stingray because he had it on his you know like on the brain but he knew it was a jellyfish um but i said well you know i guess it could have been worse <laughs> could have been a stingray Ugh. they don't get close to you they stay far away okay pull this ribbon over like that and when you put this adhere it don't adhere it here because then it won't pop up. Just adhere it to the bottom of your card front like that so that it'll pop up. Look how cute that is from the back. And then there you go. There's your cute little card. And I have back to school on the brain. So this would be um, a great teacher card, but it's not a teacher card specifically, if that makes sense, right? I mean, that could be anybody's card. Little typewriter, so cute. Um, he didn't, no, he didn't get sick. Thankfully, you know, he, um, we have scorpions here and, um, many years ago he got stung by a scorpion and his whole mouth went numb and he didn't get stung in the mouth. He got stung like on the leg or something, but his mouth went numb, you know, like at the dentist that scared me. Cause that feels like that seems like an allergic reaction, right? But then it was fine the next day. <laughs> I don't know. These, these critters. Ugh. I don't like them. I do not like them. All right. One more project. Let me grab it. I got a 3D project for you guys with a new box that I designed. I haven't ever done this box before. It's pretty simple. And it has a belly band that slides off. See, it looks like an envelope and it folds open like this. And inside are these new little, little Debbie snickerdoodle cream pies. All right, and of course, if you're looking for these in your area, um, I have linked the little Debbie snack finder for you on my blog. You enter your zip code and it'll tell you exactly what stores have them in your area. Um, next week, we're doing the Supremely Awesome stamp set, you guys. The pizza stamp set, which I think is a really funny stamp set. Um, it's been interesting designing with. I've got my projects done, and I think you guys will like them. Um, so next week, Supremely Awesome. And then I think the week after that, we're going to do the little science set. I can't remember what it's called. The one with the little beakers right? And test tubes. I can't remember what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure. Okay. Grab your Simply Scored. This is a full sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by 11. And the measurements are right here on the second page of our PDF. Okay. And I wrote Berry Burst. It's not Berry Burst. It's Melon Mambo. I see that now. Um, <laughs> I was typing late last night. Um, so let's do the long side. We're going to score at 
No, yes, two and a half. I'm gonna screw it up again. It's been many weeks in a row where I've screwed up the box. Come on, Erica, you can do it. Long side at two and a half, three and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a half. And then the short side, see look, my nails are Melon Mambo, right? They're exactly Melon Mambo. I like this color. Um, the short side at two inches and three inches, five and a half and six and a half. I did that on purpose, you guys. I wanted the nails, I knew we were using Melon Mambo and I wanted them to match. Now hold on, I have to grab a pencil. Hold on just a second. Okay. I know, I match my nails to my projects, I try to. And you know what's funny is that during October, I wanna do my nails orange, but usually we're already on Christmas projects by then, and orange doesn't look good with Christmas projects. I always think about that. <laughs> the things that go through my brain. Okay, now here on the long side, this middle section right here is four inches long. You need to make just a little tick mark at the two inch mark. Okay, right in the middle, just a little tick mark. All right, and uh, you can use a ruler or you can use your Simply Score to put that there. Now, grab your bone folder, which I just had, and you wanna burnish these lines really good. Really good. My oldest daughter didn't go on our trip with us. She was in Colorado um, leading an adventure group for two and a half weeks from her school. New freshman, I don't know, some freshman thing that she was leading. She's gonna be junior. She's now working for the elder adventure group. Um, while I'm telling you the story, let me stop and tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut three things out here. The corners, this is like Tetris, remember? The little L shape, that's what we're gonna cut out. So she, my daughter, my oldest daughter is a big rock climber, um, really loves rock climbing, really loves whitewater rafting, um, loves camping, hiking, all of that. And so that's what she went to do in Colorado and it was glorious and wonderful and it, the weather was great and cold and um, they saw a moose with its baby. They did not see any bears, but at one, at one point, everybody got really sick, like throwing up sick. And they don't know, they don't know how. They had to do like a quarantine cabin and um, it would pass pretty quick, 24 hours, and then they'd be okay, but they couldn't um, quite like nail it down. I felt really bad for her. Luckily, she, didn't, she did not get real, real sick. She got kind of queasy one day, but didn't get as sick as the others. One girl had to be taken out of the, off the mountain because she was so sick. She couldn't like walk and stuff. So <laughs> that was really sad. And she came home with ringworm. So... <laughs> I'm like, okay, this camping sounds like, I don't know, ringworm, throwing up, pretty much not my favorite. Not my favorite. But of course she loved it. She's happy. She, you know, she's out in the woods. She loves it. Okay, so here's what your piece looks like. We're going to cut these flaps um, from the short side. You can do it from the long side too. You just have to do them all the same if you're going to do them on the long side you know, like from this way, you have to do it on all four. So either choose from the short side or from the long side. And you know what, the other thing I was gonna do is just cut off that outside, that outside corner. And like that. All right. Now, remember the tick line that we made right here. We're gonna cut a point, okay? So you can use your trimmer or you can use your scissors, whichever you feel most comfortable with, and you're just gonna cut from that point down to the bottom corner. So you have that triangle there. Okay, like that. And like that. All right, now. That's your box. I mean, that's pretty easy. Not difficult at all. 
I would recommend tear and tape, liquid glue, um, even stamp and seal plus if you want, but all I have right now sitting here is stamp and seal, so we're gonna go with stamp and seal. Put the adhesive on the outside of those squares and then fold up the side and press that into the side. And then that's your box. Okay, pretty easy, pretty easy. And then you just put your snickerdoodle in there like that, fold up the rectangle ones and then the triangle ones. And that's it. All right, now you need a piece of basic black and this is too long, so I'm cutting it. I think it needs to be about nine and a half by one. And you're gonna wrap this around. This is your belly band. And you just, I mean, I don't do score lines. I just pinch, make it match. And then you're gonna put adhesive here on the end and adhere it overlapping itself like that, okay? Then I have got my favorite ribbon right here. And we're gonna tie this on the side. This is our black and white gingham. The new holiday catalog has a black and vanilla gingham. Can't wait to get my hands on that one. It actually was in my pre-order yesterday. I just didn't have time to even look at it because I was working on Club Create projects. And there you go. Now, we're gonna make our tag really easy. We're gonna just stamp that typewriter one more time. Let's see, is it clean? Nope, it's not. Let's clean it. And we're gonna stamp it in Orchid Oasis. I love this purple, it's so pretty. Oh, do I have my mat? Let me get my mat. Put that down, then we will stamp it. I'm not gonna put the paper on it this time. I'm just gonna keep it simple. And we will stamp the little flower in Melon Mambo, like that. Real quick, fussy cutting. And then we're just gonna put it on a stylish shape circle. Oh, you guys are sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I am excited for you guys to see the new holiday catalog. It's a good one. The Halloween stuff, you guys know I love all cutesy Halloween stuff, is awesome. I can't wait to play with it. There's a skeleton set. And there's another little, like a treat bag Halloween set. It is really cute. And all the papers, the designer series papers in this new catalog are awesome. The catalog goes live, I don't even know, is it September 2nd? Let's look at the back. September, oh, 6th. Oh gosh, we have to wait till September 6th. Now, if you are a demonstrator, you get to pre-order. If you buy the starter kit, you also can shop from the holiday catalog and buy things in your starter kit that are from the holiday catalog. So if you can't wait, if you're like me and you can't wait, you can buy that starter kit, $99, and you can pick out $125 of product, which is a pretty good deal. Pretty good. Free shipping too on that, on that starter kit. All right, so we've got our little flower right there. And I have these in color pearls. You just need one right there. Orchid Oasis pearl. And then we've got our stylish shape circle. My nails would allow me to pick some paper up. <laughs> and then the For You stamp. Where did it go? Is it here? Dude, no, no, no. Here it is, way back here. It was behind the iPad. All right, for you, we're gonna put that right at the bottom. Get a couple of dimensionals. Put our little typewriter on there. 
like that. And put those dimensionals right over that ribbon. It'll hold that ribbon on the belly band. And voila, there you go. Fun treat box for you, pretty generic. Pretty generic, and if you were gonna give it to a guy, if you wanted to change the colors, you could. But why would you, it's so pretty. Okay, now I have a couple of bonus cards to show you. This one right here, okay? You hold the key to my heart. I'll show both of these on my blog next week. And then this one, I hope your day is filled with sunshines and rainbows. I didn't use the typewriter on this one, just the rainbows. Okay, well, you guys, that's it. If you want these make and takes for free, remember to get your order in. Where's my other card? Get your orders in by Monday at midnight. You can order anything that you want from stampinup.com as long as it's $35 or more and you use that host code. I will send you these three make and takes for free next week. All right, you guys, thanks for Joe. I was going to say joking. Thanks for joking me. Thanks for joining me. That would be what I was trying to say. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you next week with the supremely awesome stamp set. Thanks, everybody. Bye.